spell your name? My name is Brett Douglas, B-R-E-T-T-D-O-U-G-L-A-S. And what is your occupation slash position? I'm an on-air personality um, slash whatever they want to ask me to do. Don't really have anything else. It's a lot of production. <laughs> okay. So my first question is, how did you start your career in broadcasting? Like, What led you to want to be on the radio and broadcast? Well, always, I always wanted to growing up be on radio because I, I listened to radio when I was a kid. I thought, man, it'd be so cool to be that guy, that funny guy or that, that witty guy or opinionated guy, even though I don't have much of an opinion. And um, But I always thought that, uh, I never thought that I'd be able to. I didn't know if you had to go to a special school, which you guys understand doing it. But then I didn't go to school at all. I just, um, uh, shortly after getting out of the Army, I heard that they were looking for someone to drive the boombox, the big boombox they have. And so I did that. And I found out they were looking for part-time on-air personality, so I just came in to this studio right here and started practicing. Fortunately, I, I had a job where I was working for my aunt at the time, and so she gave me um, all the time that I wanted to come practice. So I came and practiced. The owner took notice, and he... Um... <laughs> Why is that funny? Okay, no. Uh, the owner <laughs> took notice, and... Um... And they had fired the night guy at the time. They did the night show, and they let me fill in for a while, for a long time. And then finally, I just asked if I could have the night show, and they gave it to me. And then a uh, few, few, few years later, I had a chance at the morning show. Did that for a few months, went back to the night show. And then six years later, here I am on the morning show again. So that's it. Awesome. That's, like, really amazing. Yeah. Yeah, it's... it's, it's it's like the typical, oh. literally off the streets yeah, into like, the studio. It's it's such a I'm such so blessed to to have had that opportunity, you know. So and I'm glad I took it and ran with it. Okay, and just to let you know, um, I should have told you this earlier. And when I ask a question, if you could please like restate it so that oh, the viewers like know like what you're talking. Oh, they hear me, oh they but that's hear right because they're not going to hear you in the interview. They're going to be ah, uh, gotcha. Okay. Okay. So um, my next question is, what does your typical work day like consist of? What does my typical work day consist of? Uh, supposed to be here by about 5 a.m. because uh, my show starts at 6. So I'll do my, my show prep, which is um, usually I'll have my show ready for a few days in advance. So I know I have an idea of what I'm going to do. Um, the morning of is when I get my, my Hollywood dirt and my news stories because uh, those are current. You know, I'm not going to get my Hollywood dirt today and then I'm going to tell tomorrow because by tomorrow... It's, it's old news, so try to stay current. So my show starts at 6, from 6 to 10. I, I call it my sandbox. I get to play for four hours on the radio with my listeners, have a good time, listen to music. And then at 10 o'clock, I get off air and check production was the first thing, whether we're, we have to write or produce a spot, or voice a spot, um, or both. We'll do that. And then, um, what, like I said, whatever else is asked of me. I don't really have a, a, like a management position or a, a specific... This is your duties. Like I, I'm in charge of like ordering the CDs and things like that for prizes um, for our listeners. But uh, other than that, I just sit in here and, and uh, look for fun stuff to do on my show. So you're gonna have a lot of fun here. Okay, we're not done yet, but something that's going on with my camera is kind of freaking out. Okay. So.